What if you could never die? What if every time you faced death, you simply shifted to a parallel universe where you survived? This is the enticing concept behind the controversial theory of quantum suicide and immortality. Before we continue further into this video, there is a disclaimer. The information presented in this video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. None of the activities, experiments, or concepts described should be attempted. Quantum suicide is a thought experiment that explores the implications of the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics. It is a hypothetical scenario in which a person places themselves in a situation where there is a chance that they will die. In this scenario, the outcome of a quantum measurement determines whether the person survives or dies. If the many worlds interpretation is correct, the person will always survive in at least one universe, regardless of how many times they attempt the experiment. To understand quantum suicide, it is necessary to first understand the many worlds interpretation. According to this interpretation, every time a quantum measurement is made, the universe splits into multiple parallel universes, each containing a different outcome of the measurement. For example, if a coin is flipped, the many worlds interpretation suggests that both heads and tails exist in separate parallel universes. This interpretation is controversial and is not universally accepted in the scientific community, but it has been influential in the development of quantum computing and other technologies. In the quantum suicide thought experiment, a person places themselves in a situation where there is a chance that they will die, such as playing Russian roulette with a quantum device that measures the spin of an electron. If the device detects the spin as up, the gun will fire, killing the person. If the device detects the spin as down, the gun will not fire, and the person will survive. According to the many worlds interpretation, each time the person attempts the experiment, the universe splits into multiple parallel universes, each containing a different outcome of the measurement. In some universes, the person dies, while in others, they survive. If the experiment is repeated many times, the person will eventually find themselves in a universe where they always survive, regardless of how many times they attempt the experiment. This is the idea of quantum immortality. The many worlds theory was first proposed by physicist Hugh Everett in the 1950s as a way to explain the strange behavior of particles at the quantum level. At the time, the theory was met with skepticism and was largely ignored by the scientific community. However, in recent years, the theory has gained more acceptance and has been used to explain a wide range of phenomena in physics. One of the key implications of the many worlds theory is that there are an infinite number of parallel universes, each containing a different version of reality. In one universe, you may have made a different decision that led to a completely different outcome in your life. In another universe, you may not even exist. This idea has led some to speculate that there may be universes where anything is possible, including universes where the laws of physics are completely different. The many worlds theory has also been used to explain some of the paradoxes of quantum mechanics. For example, the theory can be illustrated with the famous Schrodinger's cat thought experiment. In this experiment, a cat is placed in a sealed box with a vial of poison that will break if a radioactive atom decays. According to traditional interpretations of quantum mechanics, until the box is opened, the cat is considered to be both alive and dead simultaneously. However, in the many worlds theory, the universe splits into two parallel universes at the moment the radioactive atom decays. In one universe, the cat is alive, and in the other, the cat is dead. Therefore, in one universe, the observer would open the box to find a living cat, while in the other universe, the observer would open the box to find a dead cat. 
The many worlds theory suggests that every possible outcome of every quantum event exists in a separate universe. Therefore, in addition to the two universes that result from Schrodinger's cat experiment, there would also be countless other universes where different outcomes occur. Another important and well-known interpretation of quantum mechanics is the Copenhagen interpretation which explains the behavior of the smallest particles that make up our universe. It was developed in the 1920s and 1930s by physicists Niels Bohr and Werner Heisenberg, among others. It was named after the city of Copenhagen, where Bohr had established the Institute of Theoretical Physics. The Copenhagen interpretation is a way of explaining the behavior of the smallest particles that make up our universe. It suggests that these particles do not have definite properties until they are observed or measured. Instead, particles exist in a state of superposition, meaning they can exist in multiple states at once. For example, an electron can be in multiple locations or have multiple energies simultaneously. However, when a particle is observed or measured, it suddenly collapses into one definite state. This means that the act of observation affects the outcome and that particles do not have a definite state until they are observed. This is known as the measurement problem. The Copenhagen interpretation suggests that the quantum world is fundamentally different from the visible world we experience in our everyday lives. In the visible world, objects have definite properties that do not change when they are observed. However, at the quantum level, particles can exist in multiple states at once, and the act of observation affects the outcome. One of the key implications of Copenhagen interpretation is that the observer plays a fundamental role in determining the outcome of an experiment. This is because the act of observation collapses the superposition of states into a definite state. Another principle of Copenhagen's interpretation is the uncertainty principle, which was developed by Werner Heisenberg. The uncertainty principle states that there is a fundamental limit to how precisely the position and momentum of a particle can be measured at the same time. This means that the more precisely we know the position of a particle, the less precisely we know its momentum, and vice versa. However, one of the key criticisms of the Copenhagen interpretation is that it does not provide a clear explanation of what happens when a quantum system is not being observed or measured. The concept of wave-particle duality suggests that a particle exists as a wave of probabilities when it is not being observed. This raises the question of what causes the particle to collapse into a definite state when it is observed. Despite its limitations, the Copenhagen interpretation remains one of the most widely accepted interpretations of quantum mechanics. It provides a framework for understanding the behavior of quantum systems and has been used to make accurate predictions about the behavior of particles on the quantum level. In conclusion, the thought experiment of quantum suicide offers a fascinating glimpse into the paradoxical implications of quantum mechanics on the nature of consciousness and reality. By exploring the implications of indeterminacy, superposition, and the role of measurement, the experiment challenges our intuitions about the world and raises profound questions about the nature of existence and mortality. Perhaps, through a better understanding of the mysteries of quantum mechanics, we may one day unlock the secrets to immortality and discover the true nature of the universe.